Capricorn, my earth sign Capricorns. What is up and what is good with y'all? So let's get straight into y'all reading. Y'all already know what time it is. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Queen of Wands, 1111. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. So let's get into this. You have the three of wands. So somebody's waiting on you, okay? You're waiting on someone. Take the roles, reverse them how they need be. This is your read, so I'm going to read from your perspective, okay? You're waiting on someone. Three of Wands, you're waiting for your ships to come in, you're waiting for an email, a text message, a phone call, you're waiting for an answer from somebody, you're trying to figure something out. I feel like you don't want to chase after this person, you're waiting for them to make a move towards you. And I feel like something may be on your mind here, okay, you're trying to figure something out, I feel like you may go into doing some sort of research, investigating, trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, let's see why the Page of Swords is here. I feel like this person is younger than you. Oh, you just don't have the strength to deal with something anymore. Strength in reverse. Okay, you see this person is um, losing emotional strength or losing strength. You see this person as someone who is weak. This um, Leo, whoever this is, this is somebody that wants to reconnect with you. Okay, this is somebody that wants a relationship with you, but I feel like you're doing some investigative work and whatever you found out, you drew your energy back. Okay, you drew your energy back and I feel like you're not holding back anything anymore. You're letting it all out. Everything that you've been holding back, everything that you wanted to say is coming out. And I feel like you are tired of somebody else holding back. Okay, somebody that you're supposed to be in love with and in a connection with. Okay, I feel like you don't have the strength to deal with this person in a relationship with them. I feel like this situation is stressing you out. Or oh, it's this person who is stressed out. They want to come back together with you, but they're losing nights of sleep. It looks like they're under pressure. They're scared. They're faced with a lot of anxiety here. Yeah, they see you as somebody they can have a long-term, stable, committed relationship with. You may have been married to this person or in a long-term relationship with this person. You may have kids with them. Yeah, this is the parent of your child. Baby mama, baby daddy. Okay. But I feel like there was a betrayal. Ten of Swords. I feel like you are in search of your intuition or your emotions concerning this betrayal. This person backstabbed you. Okay. And I feel like you are very detached, very cold towards this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know, I feel like you're giving this person the cold shoulder and you're making a decision. You're making a head over heart decision that you want new love. You want someone who knows your worth. You want someone who knows your value. And I do feel like there is someone new coming towards you with this page of cups. Someone who's very curious about you. Someone who may be smitten by you. Okay. But I feel like, yeah, somebody's confused about the way you feel about them. Or you're confused about how a new love feels about you. If you haven't met this new love yet, this is how it will play out. I feel like when you meet them, they will be younger than you, whoever this Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio is. I feel like this person will have their options open. Okay, I feel like you're going to have your options open as well. Why is there a damn net over the card? Okay, you're going to have your options open as well. But I feel like this person is very sweet, very nice, someone who's calm, someone who's charming. Yeah, you were meant to be with this new person. This new person is daydreaming and fantasizing about you. Yeah, the grass is greener. I feel like there is a choice or decision that you're needing to make here. Or whoever this Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius is. You need to make a decision because this person is somebody who's very charming. They got the gift of gab. So they know all the right things to say. I feel like this person is at a distance from you. Or they will be at a distance from you geographically. Or they may not be too far from you. But I feel like this person sees you as someone who is very sexy. Very uh, attractive. And they're very drawn to you. Okay. This person will show you off in public or out when y'all by yourself. Okay. This person will give you a lot of attention, recognition. I feel like y'all will compliment each other. Okay. I feel like there's a success. There's victory there. I feel like you're going to be happy. There's going to be some sort of pats on the back. Um... You know, accolades. I feel like you guys are in the spotlight. You guys may be public figures or in the public eye here. Mm-hmm. But there could be some juggling going on. Taurus, Virgo, fellow Capricorn energy. So there's a choice that you're needing to make between two. And you're going back and forth in your head about it. And I really do feel like somebody's in their head in a mental imprisonment of their own thoughts here. It could be this ex. 
who's overthinking, creating scenarios in their head. They're thinking of you a lot. They're thinking about putting spell work on you. They feel like a lot of y'all put a spell on them. But I feel like they want to try to manipulate this ending. They want to try to manipulate this outcome. Because for those of you who have not met a new person yet, this person betrayed you. They still love you and have deep love for you. And they want to come and apologize. But you may see them as too immature, too childish, and have many options. You may find this person to be very confusing and causes illusion and smoke and mirrors in you guys' relationship. And you want this wheel of fortune to turn in your favor, which it is. And I feel like there is a choice or decision that needs to be made because this person will come back towards you wanting to apologize. Okay, they could be a mistress or a side piece here. Or they could be um, two baby mamas or this could be the same person, the parent of your child here. Okay, they want success. They want attention from you. They want your attention, but something is being brought to your attention, and I feel like you're going back and forth in your head about this. Maybe about reconciling, uh, reuniting, coming back together, or whatever. You know, but I feel like somebody here is trying to manipulate an ending that happened between the two of you. You know, I feel like this person is in the midst of cleaning up their act, cleaning up their life, making healthier choices, and cutting out all this negativity. And I really do feel like this person will make their way back around to you to apologize. Okay, I feel like they want to come clean. You know, they want to clean up their shit and come clean. I feel like they want to make a confession and mend the relationship. They want to rebuild with you over here, whoever this ex-lover is. Okay, let's get some messages for Capricorns. Capricorns, tell me more about this ex. Who wants to rebuild the connection with Capricorn? Tell me more about this ex. Who wants to rebuild? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, see, third party and main lady. So this person may have a wife. They may be married. You may be the wife or the main lady. But there is... I'm sorry, you guys. I feel like your person chose someone over you. And they've been focused on this person. Right? But I feel like this third party is here. There is someone interfering, competition or an enemy. But your person is like, well, if you just take me back, I'll get rid of the third party. I'll make you my main. I'm telling you, something's brewing. Your person got something going on with a third party up in here. They got something going on with a third party. What's going on with Capricorn's person and this third party? Tell me more. Gosh, okay. So, wedding. Oh, so I feel like there was a wedding planned or there may be an engagement. Yeah, I feel like Capricorn, there's some self-delusion going on here. This third party's delusional. Okay, they're not seeing reality clearly because your person's about to run from them. Your person's about to run from this uh, third party. What else is going on between Capricorn's person and this third party? How does Capricorn's person feel about the third party? They feel like the third party is an emotional manipulator, a love bomber, a Casanova, a ladies man, just wanting attention. They feel like the third party is, 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 gets angry when they don't get what they want. They're dangerous but desired, not socially acceptable, tempting and very alluring. They want a brand new start with you. They feel like the, parties, they feel like the third party sees your person as wanting to have a brand new beginning. How does this person feel about my Capricorns? How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn spirit? They feel like you're healing from heartbreak. That's how they feel about you right now. They feel like you're healing from heartbreak. Pain, suffering, grieving. You're putting more into yourself. Self-love, self-care. But they feel as though you wouldn't be able to move on from it right now. They feel like you have not moved on from this right now because you're still heartbroken. But this person is unable to move on from you. They see you as their twin flame, polar opposites. You're their yin to their yang. Okay, what are they about to do? What is Capricorn's person about to do with this third party? Your person's not ready for commitment. They enjoy their freedom. They want to be free and not commit to this third party. I'm sorry about my son. He down there yelling on purpose and he know I'm up here working. But anyway, your person wants to be free from this third party. That's what they want. That's what they're about to do. They're about to free themselves. Hmm. What is this person's true intentions towards my Capricorn? What is Capricorn's person's true intentions towards my Capricorn? 
their money is tight, but their true intentions is to come back to you. I'm telling you, they're about to chase after your ass and leave this third party alone. Yep, they can ready to separate themselves from the third party. This is somebody you're in separation with. All right. Yeah, they may have children with you or this third party. But this person was only staying for their kids. And I feel like they're about to separate themselves from this third party. Yep. Breakthrough coming through. It's a breakthrough. What's the outcome for these two? For you and your person, Capricorn. I feel like there will be a love that transforms between the two of you. Long-lasting changes here between the two of you. I feel like it's going to shock you. It's an unexpected surprise. You didn't see it coming. I feel like this third party didn't see something coming too. They're about to be shocked because your person is getting ready to ghost this third party. Yeah, they don't feel like the relationship is real. I feel like somebody's been searching for proof to see if your person and this third party is really engaged. Or this third party is trying to search for proof to see if this person's engaged to you. Because they promised them a commitment. Your person promised this third party marriage. Your person promised this third party a brand new beginning. Your person saw a future with this person. But I feel like maybe your person felt like they weren't seeing things clearly. Maybe they felt like they was lying to themselves about this third party and how they felt about them. Because I feel like they just love bomb this third party. It may be a sexual connection there for some. But I feel like they just love bomb them. Tell them all the right things that they want to hear. And they don't mean any of it. Because their heart is with you. Yeah, they could pretend to be happy with this third party. Truth is that they're not. And we're going to get some messages from your twin at the end of the read. Stay tuned, y'all. We're about 13 minutes into the read. And let's get some more messages. Because, Lord, have mercy. This third party had no reason to be involved with your person at all. This third party should have kept their legs closed to them damn selves. They wouldn't be in this situation. Okay, yeah. See, money issues. Your person got money problems. It says, I want to take you out, but I can't right now. So your person wants to take you somewhere. I'm telling you, there's a third party trying to stop your person from coming towards you. This person is very forceful. Okay, they're trying to put a wedge on your person to try to stop them from moving forward towards you. There's a third party. Somebody is interfering. They may try to interfere by trying to take your person to the hotel, a luxury suite, or this is where they want to take you. Or they just take the whole they just take the hoe. <laughs> they just take the third party to hotels. Alright, but they want to spend the night with you. It says, I want to spend time with you. Fireworks hot and heavy. This person has a lot of desire. For you but right now you like I'm treating myself I'm practicing my self-love self-care I'm putting on my facial mask I'm giving myself spiritual baths I'm taking myself out on a date this luxury suite you could be in there by yourself pampering yourself showing yourself a good time okay it's for some of y'all it's not gonna resonate for everybody okay but this person who's coming is the runner it reads, when I catch feelings, I run or fall back. I don't know what to expect. I'm working on my issues. So they're working on things right now. They're working on their runner issues. They didn't realize that they were a runner. Yeah, they see you two as someone that's having unfinished business. They feel like they're not done with you. They want a second chance. It reads, I want a second chance with you to show you I can be the one for you. So they want a second chance with you and I feel like they want to bring you a gift, a surprise, something you've been wanting or waiting for is coming through from this person. That's what I see here. Okay, some of y'all may have felt like y'all had an STD or you may have slept with someone who contracted an STD. You went to the doctor and got a checkup or you're planning on going to the doctor and get a checkup. You have nothing to worry about. It says great results. You are clear. There's nothing to worry about. So you don't have an STD if you think that, okay? I just feel like you guys need to take some time to recharge. You guys are physically and emotionally drained, checked out, exhausted. You're just going through it. And I feel like this vampire is trying to siphon your energy. There's an energy vampire around you. But I feel like during the springtime, or this may have happened already, 
Party time, getting out more, enjoying life, going to concerts, parties, gatherings, or even traveling. Okay. That's what I see here. Somebody's yearning for you. It says, missing you, thinking about the good times. I never had someone like you. Because I never knew love like this before. Yeah, but you leveling up. You getting a new car, driving in your new car. It may be purple or a different color, but you are making money. You got a new career. You're financially stable or becoming more financially stable. And this person is pissed off. Get prepared because they're angry as hell because they got caught. They got caught up. Secrets coming out. They're being revealed. They're exposed. They're guilty. And I feel like this person is going to make a confession or a few confessions. They're pissed off. So now they want to calm things down by taking you on a romantic date. Okay. They want to make it up to you by taking you out. It says, let me take you somewhere nice. I want to please you and show you the feelings that I have for you. Okay. How is this person intending on getting back with Capricorn? Let's just ask that question. What is this person's intentions? I can't make this shit up. This person is going to chase you. They're going to keep trying. It says doesn't want to leave you alone. They'll keep trying. They're not going to stop. <laughs> They're going to be very persistent coming towards you. They're going to keep on doing it. But spirit is guiding you. Your angels are guiding you. And spirit wants you to listen and follow your intuition. Whatever your intuition is telling you, go with that. That is your gut talking to you. Okay. This person is a soulmate. What does that say? Bad date. Oh. So you went on a bad date with someone? And you don't think you and this person is a match? You don't think you and this person is a good fit? Listen to your intuition. What's coming through? Figuring it out. If you don't got it figured out, it's okay. If you don't got it figured out. Okay. If you don't got it figured out. It's okay if you don't got it figured out. So this person is trying to figure it out. How to? Yeah, their intentions is to figure out how to get it right with you because they want to chase after you. Okay, but it could be a message for this person to listen to their intuition as well. It says, I know I was wrong and I will fix it and make it right with you. So yeah, I feel like this person, you rent space in their mind for free all day, every day. It says, text message. You are on my mind. I miss you and I can't get enough of you. So I feel like they're going to reach out to you. They're going to keep trying. They're not going to stop because they want to be with you. Oh, snake in disguise just flipped. It said, as an enemy, as a friend. An enemy, as a friend, or a lover, or a thief. Someone acts like they care, but doesn't. Okay. So, it's like your person doesn't really care about the connection? Then what do they care about then? Um. So, I don't know. This is very strange. Or maybe this is you. Or this could be a third party. Someone acts like they care but doesn't. So this third party may not care. You know. But I feel like this is there's an enemy as a friend. So someone is an enemy posing as a friend. Or this is a lover. A thief. Someone who's a thief. Huh. Give me one more. I think I don't went too far. Ex-lover. Okay. So that's the snake in disguise. Mm. It says, I want you back. I realize you're the only one for me. I don't want anyone else. Okay. So they're the snake in disguise because they involved this third party who thought he or she was the one. Turns out they were never the one. They were stringing this third party along, love bombing this third party. They didn't even love the third party, to be honest with you. You know, I feel like they this person played both of you. You and the third party. They were playing games with both of you. But now they realize by chasing you how much they love you. They realize that they need to work on their issues. Their money issues. Their runner issues. I feel like they're listening to their intuition this time. I feel like in the past they weren't doing that. But it's not the right time for love. You're not ready to get back with this person. Or you may not be ready for love at all. But I feel like this person sees you as the one forever love i don't feel like they're gonna stop they're gonna keep going until you change your mind or something this is the one spiritual connection contentment they're gonna put in the effort no matter what you say or do 
It says addictions. When I'm stressed out about you, I drink or smoke. Okay. They feel powerless. They do. They feel stuck in their head. They don't know what to do. They were blinded by love. They didn't see things clearly. You know, they may have refused to see or refused to acknowledge some things here. You know, this person is facing a lot of anxiety. Because I feel like you're, you're, you're moving on, moving out. You're tired of this. They won't compromise. But they see you as marriage material. They want you, but they're going through karma, a karmic cycle. Yeah, they switched up on you, caused you heartbreak. You may have found something in this person's phone, computer, tablet. But I feel like the worst is being put behind you, and there's some good news coming towards you. I feel like somebody wants to be very generous towards you and give you some money. You're going to be happy and excited. It says, here, baby, go do something nice for yourself. So I don't know who this person is, but I feel like somebody here wants to give you some 50s, some 100s, some 20s, some 10s. You know, they want to give you some money. They want to be generous to you. Or this is somebody that you were generous towards. You may have given this person a lot of money. But I'm seeing good news coming for you either way. And it has something to do with finances. Alright, so let's get into messages from your twin. Let's get some messages from your twin flame. See what they're thinking and feeling right now at this present time. Okay, it says, I'm tired of the silent treatment. I want to sit down and talk about this once and for all. Mm. It says, I didn't think you would walk away. Yeah. It says, I'm learning how to love myself now, thanks to you. So that's your energy or them. But somebody's thanking the other person because they're learning how to love themselves now, which I feel like somebody didn't know how to love themselves truly, fully, unconditionally. And now they know. Okay, it says this was a hard lesson I needed to learn. I was out of control. So your person know they was out of control. They know that this was a hard lesson for them to learn. That's why they're going through karma. They're aware of that. It says I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. So there was something different about you that their parents or their family members may not have agreed with. Whether it's your presence, your looks, the way you talk, act, think, something. I feel like your person was a little bit insecure about bringing you around the family. Or you may have been about them. It says, I have abandonment issues. I grew up in a single parent household. I had a rough childhood. This may be for both of y'all. Or your person just really had a rough childhood. They don't know how to love. They don't know how to receive love. Okay, because they only had a one parent household. Where their one parent had to do everything. It says, I don't care what people think anymore. I've been giving bad advice. I'm listening to my intuition. I know you're the one. So their intuition has been telling them you are the one. And they finally are listening. And they know now. They feel it. It says, I know. It says, I fucked up. But I don't know what to say to you or how to make things right. That's why they were trying to figure it out. Because they don't know how... To make it right with you. Okay. They are trying to figure this out. Please unblock me. Yeah. That's me calling you from an unknown number. They're calling you from an unknown number. Because you blocked them. And they've been trying to reach out to you. But they can't get through to you. And I understand you upset. But this person is getting scared. It says I'm starting to panic. It's been so long since I've seen you or heard your voice. They haven't spoken to you in a long time. They haven't seen you in quite some time. And they're starting to get scared. Because they feel like, well, damn, is this really over? Like, I know I messed up. But allow me to fix this. Just allow me to figure it out. I'm trying. But they're trying to telepathically communicate with you right now. Okay? They're trying to tell you something. It says, I'm on a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. You have enlightened this person and awakened their third eye chakra. That's why they're coming back to you. Because nobody has ever done that for this person before. It's like you were their healer. You taught them how to love themselves and, you know, awaken them. This person is having a spiritual awakening right now. It says, I tried to replace you, but it didn't work out. I'm madly in love with you and I was fighting it. I know this is divine, okay? Your person knows that the divine sent y'all two together. Your person knows that you are meant to be with them. Y'all, this person knows that... You came in their life to awaken them. Mm. Twin flames. They know they got to get their shit together though. They know. They know. 
it says I'm going through a lot right now I need space and time to gather my thoughts let's get one more because they're trying to figure it out they want to rush in towards you very impulsive and apologize and try to fix it but it's like they feel like you don't want to hear nothing that they have to say you don't want to be bothered with them anymore okay I feel like some of y'all ghosted this person Give me one more. Okay, Spirit said two. So if you see in two, 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 this person is trying to get your attention. It says, I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. Okay, so yeah, your person lost you the first time. They're not trying to lose you again. But they feel like it may be too late. It says, I know you are my soulmate, babe. Our bond is magnetic. I'm seeing all the signs. So Spirit is working with your person. Showing your person all the signs, the synchronicities to let them know that you are their twin flame. You are someone who they're supposed to build with. You are someone who they're supposed to um, work things through with. You're the one. You're the soulmate. Okay, but I feel like both of you may have been through very different um, childhood traumas. You know, very different uh, ways that you grew up. You know, I feel like both of you have been hurt in the past relationships. And I feel like... Um, sometimes that energy be, can be deflected on the other person, you know, and they may try to fight it and not acknowledge that you are the one for them, but they cannot help it anymore. Spirit is kicking them in the ass. They can't help it. I want a second chance with you. Not being with you is killing me. This person is dying for your love. I'm hearing that song. There's a ribbon in the sky. For all love. This person is in love with you. They're stalking you. But I feel like they're going through a karmic cycle with this third party who's interfering. Mm. Addictions clouded my vision. I'm trying to get my life together. They wasn't listening to their intuition. And now they realize that they made the foolish, the most, the most foolish mistake of their life. They made the worst decision of their life by choosing a third party over you that they didn't even want. <laughs> this person, they didn't even love them. And they want you back. You're familiar to them. That energy, they, you know, they know you. But it's up to y'all to give this person another chance or not. I just feel like... They know they really fucked up. Let's get some messages for your working career. So somebody at your work is resigning or retiring. Well, this, could some, this could be somebody outside your workplace. Okay. I feel like you work at a toxic workplace. A toxic work environment. Where it may be dirty. A lot of different foul odors. Rude mouths. People laughing. People arguing. People just unprofessional as hell. You may be retiring or resigning from a toxic work environment. Okay, I do see a training course coming up. Some of you may be in training already. Some of y'all, this toxic work environment, I feel like they ain't even train you right. Okay, a lot of you work from home. Some of you want to get started. Okay, you could be training yourself, self-educating, training yourself. Okay, before you put yourself in a position to work from home. Someone is in debt. This could be you. A lot of you may have credit card debt. But I feel like you're about to get some unexpected income. It could be a bonus. A raise or something. Because you worked overtime. Or you work overtime. You put in a lot of work to get that extra chicken. That extra cheese. That extra butter. That extra change. So you're doing a lot. <clears throat> for those of you who are unemployed. There's an interview coming up for you. If you've been searching for a job, if you've been looking for a job, there is an interview that is coming. You may be selling things, okay? It may have something to do with receipts. All right, I'm seeing some shopping going on here. A lot of spending. Spending money, okay? I'm hearing you shop, 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 shop. A lot of y'all got an interview coming up because some of y'all lost your job. Or your person, somebody had a termination of employment. So that's why you have an interview. Because you lost your job and you were looking for another job. Yeah, see? Unemployment. I can't make this up. I don't know who y'all think I am. But I can't make this up. Okay? 
I feel like y'all working on y'all credit score. Some of y'all already working on y'all credit score. Yeah. Some of y'all about to start with y'all credit score. You may have found a credit repair team you could work with. You're going to be multitasking. You're going to be real busy multitasking, doing a lot of things at once. This is what I thought I saw. Unexpected expenses. So, yeah, there's a lot of bills that's going to have to be paid that you didn't expect. New bills might show up in the mail. you like, damn, another damn bill. But you're on the right direction. You're on the right path. You're going the right direction as far as you wanting to be an entrepreneur and build your own empire, build your own business, okay? I feel like, yeah, you're budgeting money. Or well, your best bet is to budget. A lot of you have went to school for business. A lot of you didn't finish school. But I feel like your ideas are about to take you out of this world. Your ideas are about to make you money. Make you rich. Okay, let's get some Kipper. Let's get a few Kipper cards and then I'm out. Thank y'all so much for all the love, all the support, everything. I really do appreciate it. Let's get two Kippers. Let's get two Kipper cards. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to sit down and talk to you. They want to reconnect with you. They want a relationship with you. They want to court you in the right way this time. I feel like they want to talk you into something. What does this person want to talk to my Capricorns about? About maybe moving in together, making it official. Moving to a new community, a new area, a nicer area. You may be 39 or your person is. They want to marry you. They want to get married. They don't have their own business right now. Some of you don't have it right now. Some of you work for a place. But I feel like this person, they may not have their own company, but they want to marry you. This person may be 34, but you don't see them as your true twin, your soulmate. You see them as a false twin. You see them as someone who is a liar, deceptive, a thief. You see them as someone who is not honest, who is not genuine. Number eight. Something may be happening on the eighth. Okay, you feel like your person has a hidden motive. Maybe to get, you know, try to get some of your money or something. Because there's great fortune coming through for you. <sighs> One more. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, there's some unexpected income coming through for you. And you feel like this person is deceptive. They may be deceptive about some money that they have. They could be 26 or 27 years old. Something could have happened today, on the 4th, yesterday, or the 8th. Or something may be happening on the 26th or 27th. So... Y'all at a distance from each other. This is somebody you're separated from. You could be 36 or they are. This person may be in jail for some of y'all. For others of you, they're in the mental imprisonment of their own thoughts. And it's starting to affect their health. Ouch. They could be 29 or 31 years old. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whether it's the same sex or opposite sex doesn't matter but i feel like somebody's health here is being affected okay or this person may feel as though they want to marry you because the person that they thought would be better for them is not their person and they seen so many blessings with you and they want to travel towards you but they're feeling stuck and their health is being affected for some of y'all, they want you to be stuck with them. They want you to be stuck. Or you may feel like, oh, this person's trying to keep me stuck. Well, it's a possibility for a lot of you that they are. They don't want you to move on. They could be the ones trying to stop you from moving on to somebody else. But the truth is, they thought this third party had something. And they ain't have a damn thing. All they made them do is backslide and turn around and come right back to you. And they're running towards you. With their tail in between their legs like a dog. They're going to be whipping. They're going to be whapping. Whipping. They're going to be crying. Feeling defeated. And begging for another chance. Okay. But it is up to you. If this person showed you that they have changed. 
Make them work for it. Make them prove to you that they really want you and only you. Make them prove to you that they have spiritually awakened and, 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 and emotionally matured and been enlightened. Make them prove it to you if you want to be with this person. Make them work for the punani. Don't be so quick to open your legs. Make them work for it. They're going to give it to you. But you want to make sure that's some loyal D or P that you're getting before you give. Because if it's not loyal and you give it, you won't get in the same way. You'll give and it won't be reciprocated. It'll be one-sided. And it's not your fault. You know, some people just move fast and some people say, I love you too fast. And they think, oh, when you fall in love, you got to have sex. And some people be in a long lasting relationship. Some people don't. It's going to play out differently for everybody. I'm not being judgmental. It's all love here. But if you want to be with this person, it's your choice. It's your decision. If this woman or this man has a right to enter into your life again because they try to choose somebody else over you so because it's not working out over there they want to be with you again but you got to set your boundaries so that won't happen again make them prove it to you make them work for it and show you they mean business otherwise you can go you you free to go you're not married to this person for some of y'all. If y'all have kids with this person for some of y'all, you can you free to go. You still free to go with your kids. Y'all just have to co-parent. But it's up to you at the end of the day what you're gonna do with this with this energy. Cause new love is trying to make its way in. So that's up to you. Some of y'all not ready for love. Some of y'all thinking about it. Some of y'all going back and forth about it. Some of y'all just like, fuck it, I'm, I'm focused on my work right now and my career, which a lot of people is doing right now. So that's not a bad thing for you to focus on your self-love, self-care. That's not a bad thing at all. But if you love this person and you still want to be with them, make them prove it to you that they mean business. Otherwise, that ship has sailed and it is out. That is your reading, you guys. Um, I just wanted to share that opinion with y'all. No, it was not in a spread or anything. That just came from off the top of my head. Um, I always want to encourage you guys to be more than you think you are. You are so much more. And you're so much more powerful than you think you are. Okay, so always keep your head up. Stay confident and stay driven. I love you guys so much. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not subscribed to this channel already, show your love, show your support. Turn your post notification. Make sure you guys are notified. Oh, and if you would like to check out the playlist in this channel, I have a playlist for songs that I channel and you guys is reading that I do post into my playlist. It is a very nice playlist. Let me know if you guys enjoy it. I really do appreciate it. Um, take some time to read the description box if you are interested in sending a donation. I really would appreciate that. I'm not taking private personal readings at this moment in time, but I will in the next couple of weeks. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye Capricorn. I'll see y'all in the next reading.